The heat is definitely on again this week across the UK and Ireland, with fantastic, mainly clear skies conditions across most of the British Isles in this during the course of this week. The high temperature today was set at Yeovilton, which was 31 degrees under clear skies, and many, many other locations getting to 30 during the course of today. Low temperature this morning was at West Frew near Stranra, where it fell to 6 degrees in southwestern Scotland, Castle Derg falling to 7, and a few other locations falling to 8. Looking at the chart right now, you can see we've got excessive heat warnings out for large parts of England and Wales for tomorrow, and heat advisories extending much further north as far as northeastern Scotland. If you remember the last heat wave, it reached 40 degrees on the 19th of July. We've got those commemorative shirts still going in the Force 13 store. Well then, let's take a look at our current weather and what happens during the course of this evening. You can see that front, for those who want the cool, it's tantalisingly close, but it's just too far away to arrive here. And temperatures will fall to around 9 or 10 degrees in Scotland, in England and elsewhere 13, probably the low temperature, some places will remain warmer. Looking into Thursday and you'll see that this pattern continues pretty much identical to what we saw today and with the heat continuing to build and more sunshine being applied the temperatures are going to creep up just a little bit more than what we saw today. High temperatures across Scotland will be getting up to around 29 degrees Celsius particularly along the east coast, west coast in the southern part of Scotland will be pretty decent too. Across Ireland getting to 30 degrees possibly further south and clear skies all around in England and Wales as well, not a cloud in sight probably, maybe just a tiny little bit of uh, cloudiness starting to appear over the hills, but generally clear skies and highs of 34 degrees most likely in parts of southwestern England, um, in those locations that you can see on the screen there, Dorset towards the Isle of Wight and Southampton and in the West Country. 33 degrees as well up in Yorkshire there. Looking at winds, winds will be extremely low on Thursday, falling to barely a breeze at all. Some places maybe only getting to 5 miles per hour as a maximum wind speed. Looking into Thursday night, just a few little pulses of cloudiness coming in from the southwest from the Atlantic, but mostly a clear night with temperatures dropping to lows of 10 in Scotland, around 14 in England and Wales. On Friday, the cloud will creep just ever so slightly further east, but still not many places will start to get obscured. It will be mostly clear skies for everyone pretty much across the UK and Ireland. High temperatures then on Friday once again, getting even higher now, 28 in Aberdeen, 31 possibly in Edinburgh, which I think might be a record. Um, and further south, you can see across Ireland there, getting to around 30 degrees again. And in England and Wales, really turning up the heat, particularly in Wales this time, getting to around 33, 34 in South Wales, and in the West Midlands, and over towards the east as well, 33 degrees. Further south, once again, similar temperatures, getting up to 34 again. That heat will extend just a little bit further east than it did on Thursday. But there will be a little bit of cloud, possibly, over some areas that will just take the edge off that heat for a little amount of time. There'll probably be thin and small clouds though, so I wouldn't expect that we'll get a huge amount of cooling. Maybe a little bit breezier as well on the south coast and across the eastern shores of the country, uh, but still hardly a flicker on our map here. Friday evening, you can see the clouds generally disperse and then they flare up a little bit again towards the end of the night, falling to temperatures of around 13 degrees, maybe 15 or 16 further south, and 11 degrees in Scotland. That front is still tantalisingly close to our country, but it still doesn't arrive on Saturday, where we're getting even higher temperatures, some more cloud though, but still we're getting temperatures of up to 35 degrees possibly over parts of southern England and Wales, and 34 degrees over large parts of central England. Generally staying around 32 in northern England uh, across the late part of the week into the weekend and Sunday we'll see one more heat day uh, mainly in central and northern parts actually before we start to see a cool down.